Okay, hello. Uh, we're back again uh, for Elite Furniture Repair Service to doing the repair, show you cheapest way at home you can do yourself. Okay, the, <clears throat> this, uh, this brick on sleigh bag, which one to come in. Tools you won't be needed if you have very cheap, like three, four bucks each one, the cheap clamps. You can, that's the one way to fix it. If you have a, a drills, that's the other way to fix it. And the glue, and a, just a soft stick. It's on the very bottom, nobody won't be sick. Okay, <clears throat> what we do first, we take the uh, fall off and try to find the be best spot for the have it break. And make sure you put in the a very perfect spot. Check with your finger everything before you, before you apply the glue. After you get the glue, apply the glue on it. Use a little brush just to spread the glue all over. You don't have to put too much glue, just enough to cover the Very good when you put on both sides of the glue. On a broken piece and on the bat himself. See, just like that. And we, when we finish that, that piece don't go nowhere. It's going to stay there forever. You finish applying the glue, <clears throat> get the broken piece, find the right spot. Because of that, it's a clean break. If you have just the clamps, no drills, when you clamp it right, that piece won't be stay and it don't move nowhere because there's a clean breaks and everything. See, you make sure check everything is even, just like that. If you have to correct a little bit, just uh, lose it, move it, and clamp it. <clears throat> because it's a long break, you have to use the two, three clamps. You probably spend about ten, fifteen dollars. All you have to do. Just clamp it enough that you can see the glue squeezed out, that's good enough. That's fixing it at home. Let me get a piece of that. Get the piece of wet rag, wipe that access of the glue. When this piece dries, See, that piece is ready. You just wait 24 hours, I'll buy tomorrow 12 hours, and uh, that piece is ready to use. But if you want, want them more secure, we have to use the drill. <coughs> just put the drill in one here, one here, one here, and one here. And put the, sink the screws in. Which one you can use it in three, four hours, that piece. And after, it's very cheap, just a soft stick. If you want to hide that, which one is on the bottom, nobody's going to see, but if you want to hide that, just get the 
whole couple dollars, the soft stick, put it there, and wipe it up. It's almost a disappear. Of course, we're not going to be do this way. We're going to be touch it up with a di different way. We, which one is going to be cost a little bit more? But this is the cheapest way to do that at home. When you finish that, if you don't have a center support on your slots, wait, you won't be have that problem again. Maybe not here, and other side, other side. Best way to avoid that, you have to get the. Pine from Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever it is that. Just screw in the center support and make sure it touches the floor when you put it on it. And when you put all the mattress, everything back on it, all the way, it's going to be on this center support. That way, the rails is just going to be for looks. And that way, you never ever going to have that problem again. And that's about it. And uh, thank you for watching. And we'll be back in couple days with more repairs. Whenever we'll pick it up new pieces, we'll be back with that. Thank you.